Some of my first tapes I remember having was like Nas, Wu-Tang, you know, EPMD and stuff like that. And they had this dope music on there. And, you know, the, the older I got, I started like just accidentally stumbling upon like records with these same samples on it, you know. Uh, so just just going down that rabbit hole of just hearing this crazy music, you know, with the, the hip hop I was listening to, you know, just piqued my interest, you know, into getting into production. So when I started to get into making um, beats and stuff like that, I was already a musician, you know, at an early age uh, from playing in church drums and piano in church. So just mixing that with just finding this, these dope samples and compositions and stuff like that, um, it was crazy. And it just opened my eyes to like a whole new world of music. The first time I, you know, I actually was getting my first placement as a producer, uh, it's for a Killer Mike song. And um, <laughs> I didn't get the placement because I couldn't get the sample cleared. So after that, I was like, man, and I was in college at the time, and I think they were paying like $10,000 or something for the, the record. And I was like devastated. I was like, man, I would never let this happen to me again. So from then on out, I, I kind of figured out that I had a talent to like recreate, you know, vibes of music, you know, that I hear, you know, with the, uh, the records I was buying and digging, you know. So over time, I just started just cultivating my skills and, and listening to more and more just music, all everything, obscure music, um, just any and everything. I can go to the thrift store or to the record shop and, and, you know, pick up and just listen to it. And after a while, you know, it was just in my DNA, you know. I'm here now uh, with the Crate League, doing what I love, you know, exploring new sounds and as well, just uh, taking the skills and, and the stuff I've learned and, and use my ear to create uh, those old textures um, that was in music of the past. So yeah, man, that's why I got into it. And this is why I created the Crate League.